せいぜい私を追い詰めてみせろ Reina, the mysterious purple lightning, uses a combination of the hard hitting Mishima style karate and the acrobatic Taido karate. For a new character to the series, she's incredibly complex and multifaceted. Reina has a huge move list with lots of situational tools, several stances which all flow naturally into one another, and on top of that, all the execution and fundamentals required to play a Mishima. What all this boils down to is a character that can both feel utterly oppressive and impossible to pin down, but is also firmly a specialist character who will take time and dedication to really get to grips with. Let's start with the Mishima aspect of Reina. All the techniques you'd expect are here. A wave dash to close distance, the electric wind god fist, a highly versatile pressure, punishment, and keep out tool. Hell sweeps to open up defensive opponents, though hers are notably weaker than the rest of the family. Triolkia splits kick to catch crouching opponents, though this doesn't launch, instead, it's a heat engager. The hit confirmable flash punch combo, which doesn't knock down. But instead leads to Sentai stance for continued pressure. More on this later. Note that you can hold back to cancel this transition, which is quite useful at the wall. And finally, Reina's own unique addition to the Mishima toolkit the Electric War God Kick, which is mainly used to pressure opponents on the ground. You can also simply tap a button to go into Wind God Step for easy execution, though the electric versions of moves can't be accessed from this. Also, you can only get the insanely cool foot sparks by doing Wave Dash the good old fashioned way. Reina's mastery of Taido allows her to close the gap quickly and evasively. With Ohen Manjigeri, Reina rolls forward whilst going under hives, culminating in a mid kick that knocks down and launches on counter hit. Be careful though, as this is unsafe on block. It can be cancelled into a crouch though by holding down, giving her a slew of options afterwards. You can even extend the roll, turning the kick into a guard break and launch her on normal hit. Sen Shinzuki is another roll with an unsafe mid at the end. Similar to the Manji Geri, it can also be cancelled into a variety of options. Karami Ate is a highly evasive low that turns into the powerful Nen Ashigarami on counter hit. Reina can also gracefully step out of it with Hiei, or instantly go into our running options, which are both very powerful and complement one another. Ten Chuten Geri is a linear heavy hitting mid, and Un Tobi Kaijo Geri is a tracking high, both dealing chip damage and giving Reina the advantage on block so she can continue her pressure. Wind Step also helps Reina cover ground. This can cancel into Wind God Step at any time to access her Mishima moves. And also comes with the looming threat of Fuzen Kyaku, a safe counter hit launching mid that acts as a preemptive shield. Wind Step even has a very small punch parry window with Fuzatsujin, so fans of Third Strike will be very happy to know that you can actually tap forward into an attack to parry it. Sentai and all the options from it is another excellent approach tool. Sen Kaijo Geri is an extremely fast, heat engaging, Tracking high that keeps the momentum going even on block. Rashomon is a quick mid check that keeps opponents honest. Kandachi Geri is slower but deals chip damage and allows Reina to continue her pressure on block. Furin Kazan has the rare distinction of being an armored string, allowing you to confirm into the follow up. The Yaksha Sweep is a homing low to open up turtles, though it's very unsafe on block. And the inverse Deva Laser is an oppressive string that deals big damage on hit and naturally flows into Heaven's Wrath. Yet another stance, which we'll cover later. Finally, Haburi Kaze is a throw, and while it doesn't deal much damage, it is unbreakable and results in a knockdown. Raiden, though, is what truly completes Reina's mid range and approach game. This is a safe power mid that can also shift into Sentai stance, and on hit, 
Senkaijo Gedi is guaranteed for a heat engager. On block, keep opponents from mid-checking you with Furin Kaza. Then once they're respecting you, throw in some Yaksha sweeps, which also slips under jabs. Reina's Taido not only assists in approach, it also allows her to disengage from pressure. With Unsoku Gen, Reina gracefully shifts away with a highly evasive and beautifully animated backstep. Unsoku Core can be done both up and down, and this works as a punch parry similar to Fusatsu Jin, but the window is much more lenient. At any time during Unsoku, Reina can unleash Unpu Tobi Manji, a powerful evasive mid heat engager. Cancel into other Unsoku variations, Sentai, or the Wind God Step to access her Mishima moves. You can have a lot of fun dancing around in the mid range, baiting approaches, and then surprising opponents with a sudden strike. Other powerful evasive moves are the Ebi Geri, which literally translates to Shrimp Kick. This slips under highs and launches on counter hit, making it a strong option when you have a good read on a jab happy opponent. Kasho Makimanji has some high evasion and turns into the powerful Nen Dogarami on counter hit. This string is unsafe, but to discourage opponents from punishing this, you can just do the first hit and threaten with the follow up which gives a full combo on counter hit. Do be careful though, since the first hit is launch punishable if the opponent makes a hard read here. Reina can also do a Manji Geri kick from crouch. This is unsafe on block, but it stays evasive for the entire animation and launches, making it another good callout tool for opponents who love to throw out jabs and other high attacks. Ben 10 thrust is a safe mid from crouch with a built-in sidestep. This guarantees Muso Basara on counter hit and wall splats on normal hit, making it quite scary at the wall. And whilst not evasive, Seigan Ugachi is another great defensive move. This is a quick high chop that on counter hit allows two guaranteed hits from two separate stances, culminating in a heat engager. Or more simply, you can just go for iron hand. Once Reina gets up close and personal, she can really lay on the pressure. Muso Tensho is Reina's go-to mid-check tool. What makes this really scary though is the Sentai transition, giving her access to all the pressure and mix-up options from the stance. If opponents try to check Reina, she can keep them honest with Muso Basara, but be careful as it is quite unsafe. In a cheeky throwback to an older, deader Mishima, this is guaranteed after Kamadhatu splits kick on a crouching opponent. This is also another great tool to lay on the pressure due to the advantage it offers on block. If you want to get into Sentai with a lot of advantage to press a mix-up, then Sudoku Rengeki is key due to its speed, safety, and hit confirmability. If opponents start trying to step around Reina's pressure, then Sin Smiter is arguably the best tracking move in her toolkit. A riskier but more rewarding option is Senjozuki. This is a bit slower and a high, but nets a launch on counter hit. If opponents start ducking the second attack, you can use Senjo Manji, but this is unsafe on block. Reina can add yet another layer to her pressure game with Heaven's Wrath. This can also cancel into Win God Step or Sentai. Calm down, Reina. Some good ways to enter Heaven's Wrath are by holding down after Ruthless Demon and Gekiro Satsu. This string in particular is very powerful due to its safety and confirmability into Heaven's Wrath. It even has an ender that launches on counter hit, though do be careful as this is a high. Compared to the free-flowing Sentai, Heaven's Wrath is a bit more rigid and requires more setting up, but it can also lead to more potential damage. Heaven's Roar is another unbreakable throw. This doesn't deal much damage outside the wall, but it is useful to condition opponents. Kongo Gekimetsujin starts from a mid and is all guaranteed on counter hit for a big chunk of damage. The first hit of Funke Goma is a fast tracking move that can shift into Sentai, guaranteeing a Sen Kaijo Geri on hit. Iron Hand serves as a power mid, safe heat engager, with respectable amounts of chip damage and pushback on block, whilst Hell Axel is heavily advantageous on block, 
and can loop back into itself for crazy amounts of chip damage. Lows are unfortunately a bit of a weak point for Reyna. A Simon is reasonably fast and damaging, but very unsafe and offers no advantage on hit. Jidin Sweep offsets this by being safer, but also easier to recognize from its telegraph sidestep starter. Un Oshi Kuzushi is fast and the follow-up discourages potential punishes, but again it offers no true advantage on hit and the follow-up is unsafe. Generally, Reina's best lows and throws are from her stances, so she's really a character that first needs to condition opponents before opening them up. When it comes to punishment, Reyna really hurts. Notable moves from crouching are 7C Splits Kick, which can transition into Heaven's Wrath for pressure, Jewel Snatcher, which gives free Sentai follow-ups, and the aforementioned Manji Geri. From standing, Ganzan Basara and Ondeko let her punish minorly unsafe moves with a wallop, and Reyna is also the first Mishima to rock an easy uppercut launcher, with Queen Bee Stinger for bigger punishes. And once she gets you in the air, Reyna's combo damage is way above average. Heat magnifies Reyna's already stellar approach and pressure game to whole new heights. She gains a new ender to her Manjigeti kicks with Lethal Fury, making her forward roll even more difficult to deal with, as well as some other strings. Using Unsoku stances makes her recover the heat timer, which can goad opponents into recklessly rushing in. Heaven's Wrath starts automatically parrying highs and mids into this brutal and damaging stomp, making it very intimidating to contest. This means you can just muscle your way in from previously unsafe transitions like Inverse Deva Laser from Sentai, while Gekiro Satsu becomes simply absurd. Reina is one of the few lucky characters who has two heat smashes. Divine Dominance of Annihilation is fairly standard, a fast mid-hit throw that's good for combo enders or pressure due to the advantageous Heaven's Wrath transition on block. Divine Wrath of Annihilation comes from Heaven's Wrath on the other hand, and is a very damaging low that floor breaks, increasing the stance's mix-up potential tremendously. Do be careful though, as this is very unsafe on block. For a character that's new to Tekken, Reyna is incredibly fleshed out and complete. Similar to Heihachi from previous games, she has the weakest lows out of all the Mishimas, and she can also be quite stubby. To counteract these weaknesses, players will need to take full advantage of her wide array of movement options and unrelenting pressure. Since Reyna's best lows are all locked behind stances, you'll need to properly condition the opponent to respect you first before you can break down their defenses. The reward for all this strategy and planning, though, is some truly monstrous damage output. Reyna was clearly a labor of love for the development team, though, and we cannot wait to see what Purple Lightning is capable of.